Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a quick one and it's going to be on the new Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Oh my god It's a really big wand There must be something for me personally, I don't deviate too much from mascaras only because I have specific criteria for my mascaras and that's because I have really stubborn, short, straight Asian lashes as we know it. You guys can see right now I have pretty much naked lashes right now and I also didn't do my eye up that much because I want to showcase this mascara to you guys and how this performs. And I've seen so many reviews on this mascara online in a sense that the lashes just look phenomenal so I was super excited to try this mascara to see if it will give me that kind of results too. For me personally I want a mascara that gives me volume, length and definitely curl because I find most mascaras they'll give me the first two but when it comes to keeping the curl that's where they fall down. But this mascara actually has berry wax so with wax in it I'm expecting it to hold the curl and also maybe a bit of waterproof capabilities but we'll see. I love how this mascara just states the claim boldly behind here. So first is volumizing which I want, lengthening which I really really want, want as well, lifting which is that curling aspect and also the fourth one is curl enhancing as well, smudge resistant and intense color which is everything that I basically want in a mascara. So we're gonna give this a try right now. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see my lashes. Hopefully you guys can see my lashes and see how this mascara performs. And this is the actual mascara. It's actually quite big. And I'm just gonna go in and look at the wand right now. Oh my God. It's a really big wand. That's what she said. Hopefully it doesn't create smudges to the skin, but we're going to test it out right now. First and foremost, I have to curl my lashes only because I do this for all of my mascaras, so I want to give this a fair chance. So right now you can see a little bit of my lashes after it's curled. That's why curling it is a must step for me. We're going with the mascara now and I'm a touch nervous. Only because usually mascara will make or break my makeup look. This is right after one coat of mascara and I'm going to look up so you guys can see the volumizing effects and hopefully it doesn't freak you guys out. But in terms of curl, I can see it for a just like droop just a little bit. Right now you guys can see this side is a tad bit lifted and that's because I've been pushing with my lash comb but I just find it to be drooping down whenever the chance it gets. I mean the volumizing and also the lengthening is definitely there but in terms of keeping my lashes curled and upwards it's not 100% I would say. Right now I would say it's 50%. My lashes are still visible when you're looking at me straight on. But a lot of the visibility is lost because it droops down and you can only see it when it's side on. Applying mascara to the second eye nail. And this time I'm going to go slowly. You know, since that I want to push lashes up on this side I use the pushing method and I find the lifting effects is far better than this side so you guys can see straight onwards my lashes are definitely lifted and it's much more visible on this side and also there's more volume and that's because I didn't go in with the lash comb to lift it. I'm going to try two layers on this side and going to try the pushing method on this side to see if it will rescue this kind of droopiness. But for me personally, I don't usually wear two layers of lashes or two layers of mascara. 
You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never grows I was that second layer definitely gave me the lift that I wanted so you guys can see right now this side is much more visible and also is a touch lifted because I did use that lift and also push method and there's a lot more volume now in which case I have to do it to the other side now because it's not even Second layer on this side is not as nice only because it looks like mosquito's legs now. Um, there's definitely volume but for me personally it's a little bit too clumpy. I'm going to look up and you guys can see. I really feel like to go in with my lash comb now and just comb the clumpiness out. I'm not comfortable with this much clumpiness. This is as much as I can do, but it's still quite clumpy. We'll look up right now. You guys can see it's still quite clumpy and mosquito-like looking, but it's not really the fault of the mascara because it didn't say that it's separating. My final thought on this mascara is I recommend this to those who already have full and curled lashes because this will definitely give you that lifted, fanned out lash effect. But for someone like me who has sparse, stick straight lashes, you actually have to work on it. You guys saw before, I have to use that lift and push method to keep the lashes up or curled while the product is drying. And I find that to be a bit of work. And with two layers, it's just too much for my lashes. Even though it feels lightweight on the lashes, I just don't prefer the look. If I were to use this mascara again, I'm actually quite interested to try it with the heated lash tool only because there is wax formulated inside this mascara and I think with the heated tool it's able to give me more of that lift and curling effect. But right now I don't have any heated lash tool with me so if you guys want to see how this mascara performs with another tool involved, please comment it down below. And that's my initial thoughts on the new Bite Beauty Upswing mascara. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos, please do subscribe and like down below. And if you have any product suggestions, comment it down below as well. Thank you guys so much again. And until next time, bye.